morning. Welcome back to the farm. My time for quarantine was just lifted, so I have two hours now to go out. It's starting to get a little frustrating. It's now been, what, two months maybe that we've been in quarantine? And I think the thing that I'm starting to feel, and Kaylee's starting to feel, well, I don't think I can really talk for Kaylee. Kaylee's loving this. Kaylee's like, she loves just being here, being in the bus, having life being very, very simple. I think it's really good for her. But for me, I need to go. And I need to be able to go and get the things that I need in order to keep our farm going. And the rules, I just didn't think they would be this strict for this long. This is one of my favorite views right here. I'm driving into town. I usually just stop right here and take it all in. It's so beautiful. But at this point, I'm still only allowed to leave our property for four hours a week. And I think the thing is, it's kind of like, I'm kind of going back and forth in my head because on one side, I, I'm a guest here. I'm not a Panamanian. 7.40 now. The grocery store doesn't open up till eight. So now I just kind of need to wait 20 minutes. I still have to wear one of these every time I go out. I'm sure this is going to be happening for a while. I forgot my passport, so they're not going to let me in. It's going to take about another 40 minutes for me to go up to our land and come back, so that's 40, 40 minutes less that I have. I forgot my passport. Oh no, did you get stopped? No. Thank you. <laughs> Got it. Stupid thing. Stupid me. So we just came out on the deck this morning and we see a nice gift. Some kind of animal left for us. It looks like a cow, but it looks and like it's, it's not very healthy. It's like a walking path of poop. So we told you guys about how we put our seedlings in the ground and a windstorm literally came and freaking pretty much destroyed them all. So some of them are starting to come back. You can see that the lettuce over here is actually looking really, really good. But all this Swiss chard, still not looking too hot. So that's really the main reason why we're building a greenhouse is to protect from the wind because technically from what we were told, the windy season should have been over like a month ago. So I'm pretty sure Jordan and I's instincts were correct because we got a little straggler on the loose over here. <laughs> What's up buddy? What are you doing out here? Are you coming for some grass? Bo, is that your friend? Is that your friend? <laughs> hey, be nice. Come on. She secretly loves the cows. <laughs> She's like, hey, did you poop on my lawn last night? Did you poop on my lawn last night? <laughs> I gotta admit, this is probably one of my favorite parts of the day, is coming and checking on the chickies. Good morning, honey. Good morning, chickies. <laughs> Damn, you guys. They demolished that papaya. Is this one? This is Dodo. <laughs> well, we've been watching the sun really, really closely the last 48 hours or so. And the greenhouse isn't in a great spot. Right now how the sun comes up, it rises right here and this casts a shadow right where that was. We thought we were gonna miss it, but it doesn't get sunny up there till about 11 o'clock. So we're gonna move the greenhouse today over here. So that's why I'm clearing out this land. I'm not super happy right now. We thought we were gonna be able to just slide it and just move it over here and just slide it along the grass or just pit both of us could pick it up but it's not as strong as I thought. Those star plates aren't as strong as I thought and they'll, they're flexing a little bit. So I guess we have to take the whole thing apart now. Look at these roots. This is for grass. Yeah. Look how long these are. It's crazy, man. And it's like every blade of grass's roots were this long. Yeah. And they're just so buried in here. You can't even pull them up with your hands. You have to dig them out. We're probably gonna have to do another whole like deep tilling before we actually plant anything for in sure.
It's always frustrating having to start all over, especially when you're pretty close to being done. If this was maybe like, I don't know, a couple years ago, we probably would have just left it because we used to kind of just like rush through everything, but now we're really trying to be tedious on making sure everything's right. And by the end of yesterday, we were just so exhausted. I mean, just swinging that pickaxe and a machete all days. It just wipes you out. So, we, so once the sun started to set, we head in, called it a night, watched the stars. It was a beautiful night. Woke up early this morning and I've been getting after it. But we've been thinking. And we've been thinking. And we've been thinking. How the heck we're gonna get this roof on top? And then not only the roof, but how are we gonna get the plastic on the roof once it's up there? I think we just gotta go for it. Sometimes you gotta stop thinking. Hopefully it's... you don't have to take it all apart and then put it back together again. Oh, we only, we've only already done that once. Yeah. All right. Three, two. What are you doing over there, honey? 39 and 5 okay. Look at that angle. Look at, the, look at those angles. It's crazy, man. Okay, so. Come on, look back and look at the shape. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. It's gonna look so cool. Yeah. Welcome back to ESPN 8 The Ocho. We got a great one for you today. <laughs> Boulder tossing. <laughs> boulder rolling. <laughs> boulder rolling. We got pretty little Miss Kaylee up on the boulder. Let's see what she's got. <gasps> Not a great effort. What? <laughs> All right, now we got Mr. Jordan up on. Let's see what she got. I've been waiting for this one. Ready for it? <laughs> Wait, disqualified. Disqualified. It's a ball and rolling contest, Mr. Jordan. <laughs> so we're just gonna put some rocks underneath all the corners to try and make it level. And our vision is to have a little rock wall. Going all the way around the bottom. Yeah. That'll help get the wood off the ground. Yeah. And I think if we put this wood straight on the ground, it will rot in a year or two. Definitely. Can you just a little bit higher? That one's still gotta go higher. Mm. 178 three quarters. Cool. Well, we got it as square as we can. Now, one last thing to do before the plastic. If you see how big these, this roof is, I'm terrified of the wind here. The wind comes from right there at about 50 to 60 miles an hour for three or four months out of the year. So we're just gonna try and make these triangles a little bit smaller, because that's seven feet wide. I'm sorry you guys, this is where I'm gonna call it. It is pouring right now. So I wanted to run one more piece of wood. So it's gonna go from there to there. It's just raining way too hard. I just ran in, threw all the power tools away. Unfortunately, I'm gonna call it. So sorry I couldn't get this all done. I guess you have to watch on the next one. We're trying to make the most out of all of our time because everything that we get done, no matter how small, whether it's painting the deck, building stairs, building a greenhouse. All these little things make such a big impact on our lives right now, because we're living in a school bus. Yeah. So, as it's raining, we've been working on architectural plans. So I'll put our plans over here. 
our next big project is going to be to build a workshop. I feel like this is such a game changer for right now too, because like with the rainy season, the rain like halted our, our work day yeah. at like one, two o'clock in the afternoon, whereas now we'll be able to get so much more done during the day. And there's a lot of stuff that, like I really want to get into uh, milling lumber. It's really hard to find good wood here. So I bought a chainsaw mill and that's what we're gonna use a lot of space for. It's gonna be basically a wood shop. And we're working on these plans next. This is gonna be our next big project. It's gonna be coming up right when we finish this greenhouse. This will be next. Mm -hmm. Getting packages here is like Christmas morning because we very rarely get them. And Lolo always gets all excited too. What is it, what is it? So you guys might see me trying to file a hatchet and machete with this tiny little file. So I got a serious file. What is this? File card? General purpose file. Oh, this is the handle for the file. This is for cleaning the file. <laughs> oh, so exciting. <laughs> oh! What is this? Do any of you guys know just by the name? Any of you serious like homesteaders or like outdoorsman people? <laughs> Grand Forest Brooks. How does it feel? This is the real reason why we got the file. <laughs> is that one mine or is that one yours? This is, um, this is a carving axe. So, so, so this isn't for like chopping down trees. This is oh, for doing like, like, like uh, woodwork stuff. Yeah. Ooh. We have three axes on the way. This is the first of the three. I love. So cool. Damn. We're gonna do a video about these later because we have two more axes on the way, but. <laughs> oh my god. I've been the cover of Hollywood magazine twice. It's the next one? Should we do it? Wow. Just finished episode one of Tiger King. Oh man! It's just about a bunch of crazy people. <laughs> I don't really have much to say. <laughs> like I said, we'll leave this one. Is we'll recommend you guys go watch Tiger King. We just watched the first episode. We gotta watch the second one. And we'll probably watch the second one. Yeah. Oh, we also have brownies, so we'll probably just eat a bunch of brownies and watch Tiger King. Let's do it. So that's where I'm gonna leave you guys. Thanks for coming along. See you next time. See you next time.